Hi guys, it's Sarah here from Pure Fitness Manly. Um, and today I just wanted to have a, it's just a quick one on different add-ins that you can put into your morning smoothie or your post-workout smoothie. Uh, just to boost the, the nutrient quotient and um, turn it into a real powerhouse one. So you're getting all your all your uh, macronutrients which will take you up to your next meal. So it's a really good one to have if you're in a rush and you need to get out of the house. You can get it ready in the morning in a few minutes and then you can take it out with you on your way to work. So a lot of clients ask me this because they make their smoothies but they're not putting enough protein in so it's actually not keeping them full. So I just wanted to share a few um, a few things that I put into my smoothies which keep it really really healthy and really yummy which is really important. So uh, first up is cacao powder. So I actually put this in my son's because he's got a real sweet tooth and it's um, you can actually buy the nibs. You can go to the full organic shop and get it. This is just a Coles brand and it's just fine. So um, cacao powder is really good and it goes really nicely with almond butter as well and green grapes is another one. So that's cacao. Um, and then I also sometimes use all my coconut, my organic oil, uh, a tablespoon of that. So that's adding your good fats into it. Um, so that one's a really yummy one to use. Um, I prefer to use that one than, than another oil, but you can give them all a try. Go into your health food store and have a chat to the nutritionist there. Um, and they're really helpful. Chia seeds is one I always put into the smoothies and also my morning porridge. Chia seeds, I'd go for a tablespoon. It's an excellent source of um, omegas. Okay, so it's got some, this one's got six grams of fiber, three grams of omega-3s, and three grams of protein. And it is just fantastic for keeping you satisfied. So I would definitely do that. Okay, nut butter, as I was telling you, so this is the nut macro one. It's the ABC spread, so it's absolutely delicious. Almond, Brazil, and cashew spread. Again, tablespoon, makes it nice and creamy and has that beautiful sort of um, cashew cashew flavour. And sometimes I'll actually, if I don't have this, I'll put in some cashews instead so it makes it nice and creamy. Then you've got your spinach, which if you want to put in quite a bit, you're pretty much going to um, get your greens for the day. So this is really good because it's a very mild flavour and you won't even taste it so you can get your greens if you're not a huge fan of greens. Then, one that I've been speaking to about my clients of recent, where they sort of turned up their nose at first thinking yuck, is eggs. You can um, put in a raw egg and um, you can't taste it, it's actually fine. So, I got that one off a, um, a bodybuilding site where they put in a raw egg and I uh, thought it was pretty gross, but then I tried it one time and you can't even taste it. And it, it's like eggs are just the best source of whole protein you can have, so it's really good at keeping you satisfied till your next meal. So there you go, so you've got a few add-ins you can have, and then I use coconut water, um, you could use some almond milk, um, then I'll put in frozen blueberries, I'll freeze my bananas, and that's really good, you don't have to add any ice, so it's nice and cold and really yummy, and um, sometimes maybe some, some oats for some carbs, um, you don't really have to because you're getting the carbs from the fruit. So there you go. So um, hope you learnt a little bit from today. And next time you make your smoothie, you've got a couple of uh, new add-ins that you can you can add to it. Okay. See you soon. Bye.